Today we are in Saigon, Vietnam, home of the Bok Mi, one of the world's best sandwiches. Right now we are near District 7 local market and we're going to be trying our first bang mi of the top five bang mi. This is a bang mi dak viet, which is known as a special combo, and it's our first in the top five bang mi in Ho Chi Minh City. A full day of bang mi, everything dak viet. This is a special combo and we are in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, the home of the bang mi sandwich. We're going to be leveling the top four together in a competition for the top bang mi in Ho Chi Minh City. First up, we're going to be eating this sandwich from the local market in District 7. It is a beauty. Loaded up with meat, scallions, some pork floss, mayonnaise, as well as pate. Let's try our first bite. This bang mi dak viet is from the local market in District 7. It's bang mi ba ta. It is a baseline for everything we're going to be doing today. You can see it's all the classic. And let's see what's inside. The moment of truth, folks. Oh yeah, this is thick. There's a nice, delicious layer of liver pate on the bottom. Then we have a pork white meat sausage, the pressed and rolled up shoulder and head cheese, finished off with a pickle for sunny side of the best ever food review show, some pork floss, as well as scallion, a little bit of pickled daikon and carrot. And this folks is the money, the spicy kick that comes on the end. Let's get another bite of this sucker and see how it tastes. And this is a fantastic sandwich. We're gonna head down to District 1 now and try four of the most famous, busiest bang mi locations in all of Saigon, home of the bang mi. But this sets a high standard. We have four more competitors coming up. First, we're going to the classic, the most famous, busiest bang mi shop in Ho Chi Minh City, bang mi Huyn Hoa. After that, we're gonna to go to another stop close by near Boy Bien Street, bang mi Hong Ha. Our third location is going to be a Bang Mi Boy Ti Shua, BTX in other words. Sounds like a Korean boy band if you ask me. Finally, our fourth location is going to be Grandma Huyn or Ba Huyn, Bang Mi Ba Huyn. Never tried that one before, but those are the four most famous, most well-known and respected Bang Mi shops in Ho Chi Minh City, the home of the Bang Mi. This is our Bang Mi from Huyn Hoa the reigning champ and decidedly most famous and most popular bang mi shop in all of Ho Chi Minh. We have a thick, beautiful layer of pate on the bottom as well. You can see a lot of fried pork floss. So this stuff is literally made from pork meat. It's delicious. It's got a salty, oniony taste to it. A couple of crispy cucumbers for our guy Sunny Side from the best ever food review show. We've also got hiding in there on the bottom some pressed meat. So we have pork sausages, as well as some thick, that looks like a pork loin or a pork chop that's been sliced up. As well, on top of that, you can see some more pickled vegetables, the classic combo of radish and carrot. I've had one of these before. excited to dig into this thing again. It is a monster. You can see as well, there's a, the homemade mayo on the bottom there, which is, it's actually starting to congeal and gloss up a bit on the top. And that is a surefire sign that it is fresh. We are going to start with the first bite of the Bang Mi Huyn Hoa. This is an absolute monster. Take a look at that beast. This is the biggest Bang Mi I've ever seen. I've tried it before. You've probably tried it too. It's the most famous one in the city. Close to $4 US too. So you're not getting a deal. And the bread's quite like a smooshy. It's a smooshy bread. I'm going to try and dig in there. Get the best first bite we can. Oh my God. First impression. The bread is like shoe leather, like it's just too much. That said, the filling's amazing. If it's like your first trip to Ho Chi Minh City, you probably want to try it, like it's a special thing. But I, I mean, no. This is popular, this is for the masses. There's no way it's gonna be my favorite. It's got the dogs barking in the background, classic street side Saigon. This spot is just off of a Boy Bien in District 1, very popular with tourists. The bread looks beautiful, nicely scored, crisp golden surface, very crunchy. 
Not as big as Huin Hua, but it's also not as expensive. Let's have a look inside. Oh, all the classic fixings. You can see there's a nice thin layer of pate there. Underneath, we've got our pressed meat again. This ham looks good. That's like a nice head cheese in there as well. Gorgeous looking stuff. So we've got three different kinds of meat as well as that pate. Just a little bit of mayo there. And the mayo is quite white and thin. So not sure if that's disappointing yet or not. A lot of cilantro, a little bit of carrot. Look at that, they've used a little serrated knife on the edge. That is cute. This is another classic version of the bang mi, and I'm excited to take my first bite. Next up, we got bang mi hum pa. This is, without a doubt, the most beautiful bang mi, the most beautiful baguette we've seen today. And it's really thick and heavy with pate inside. Rich and luxurious first bite. I can't say luxurious, but I can eat sandwiches. Let's get into this. Wow. As expected, the pate, there's so much of it, it's overwhelming everything else, but the bread is so crunchy. It's so delicious. It's definitely the best bang mi, the best bread we've had today. I don't know if the flavor is as good. I'm decided, they're close, they're neck and neck. Oh my God. Wow, I see what the fuss is about. This place has lineups, it has tourists, it is a busy, busy joint, and I get why. We're gonna have to come back to it though, because we still have a whole other sandwich. I want one more bite, one more bite. Bang mi, ba win from Madam Win. There's literally all the veggies color coordinated in a bag. Beautiful boxing. I mean, this thing looks expensive. It looks like a new pair of shoes. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Inside, you can see Perfect for the gram. They have pre-sliced it to get that beautiful sandwich cut that's so popular on the interweb. These guys are obviously doing something for the Instagram. It looks nice. Inside though, you can see everything too because of that cut. So there is all three kinds of pressed meats. Again, these are the classics. We're not going for any variation today. We want to know who makes the best traditional bang mi sandwich in Ho Chi Minh City. Put it together for a second. Bang mi. Ba Huyn, Bang Mi Ba Huyn, Madam Huyn. Open this sucker up. It's been boxed fancily like a nice pair of Gucci shoes. Get your Prada on, gents. They're making me put it together, which you have to do for Huyn Hua as well when you get a takeaway. I don't really like that, to be honest. I want my thing already put together, but at least we get a huge pickle. I feel like I'm a sandwich artist at Subway right now. Like, I don't really want to be making my own sandwich, but I'm gonna try and not let that affect my judgment of the taste. For we are trying to figure out, for you folks, who has the top and most delicious bang mi in Ho Chi Minh City? Let's get the first bite of this sucker. Okay, I like it. A lot of pickled veg. The pate is peppery, some spice in there. Wow, it's already better than Huyn Hoa. So Huyn Hoa has already been relegated to like, at best, second place. I know I have mayo on my beard. I don't care, I gotta go in for more. The second bite, again, the bread, the bang mi, I mean, bang mi means bread. The bread is kind of lax. It's a bit tough, a bit chewy. Usually bang mi has a bit of rice flour in it, and that's what defines it and makes it Vietnamese and not just a baguette. It gives it that lightness to the interior. I'm not really getting on in this, but the flavor is fantastic. There's some pepper, there's some garlic. The mayo is good. The pate is really heavily spiced. All right, last up we have bang mi BTX, or boi thi suong. So let's open this sucker up. And already we can see this is by far the meatiest of the sandwiches. The pressed meats here are thick cut and delicious. The ham looks fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. Still a little smoke ring there, whether it's real or not, I'm not sure. It might just be curing salts. Nice little fat layer. You can see all of that. A lot of thick mayonnaise on the bottom. Cannot wait to dig into this one. Huge pickle for sunny side. A lot of pickled veg and then a nice thick layer of pate. This, what's that? Pork, another kind of pork. I don't even recognize that one. It looks like a pork terrine almost. That is really good. Oh my God. Bang mi is delicious, man. If you haven't had a bang mi, please enrich your life. Get your ass to Ho Chi Minh, come to Saigon, try all of the bang mi. They're all fantastic. These are significantly better than any of the sandwiches you're having at home. I promise you. Subway, smell you later. No chance. Let's get into this. This is our fourth sandwich. BTX, BT Swan, 
This one holds a special place in my heart. My son, my firstborn child, was literally birthed during COVID at the hospital next door to this sandwich shop. So this sandwich shop has fantastic memories for me. Let's get a bite. Oh, we should say too, it's meat heavy. A little less pate than the last one, but very meat heavy. Let's get this bite. This is my love language. Just eating sandwiches is my love language. This is all I need to do in life. Oh my God, I don't know about you, but there's literally nothing I would rather be doing on planet Earth than smashing these sandwiches. They're absolutely delicious. This is gonna be super tough. We're gonna need some criteria, which I don't have. More criteria than just delicious, because all of the last three sandwiches were FKN delicious, as Calvin Bowie would say. Mm. Early pole sitter for the top most delicious banh mi in Ho Chi Minh. Definitely Madam Huynh, Ma Huynh, but we still got some more sandwiches to try. BTX has the flavor, the spices, the texture, the depth. There's a lot of nuance. Hong Hua has the best bread. It is in a literal sense, the best bong mi in Ho Chi Minh. Let's get another look at it. It is, it's a beauty. I mean, just look at it. It's an absolute beauty. Who doesn't want to eat this? This is one of the nicest sandwiches I've ever seen. Let's get a bite of it right now. It's a bit sweeter though. It doesn't have the pepperiness, the spice, the nuance, the layers of flavor that BTX has. By the way, if you're judging me for being a pig and eating four sandwiches, I'm doing this for you. It's not just about me. This is the kind of charity act, because not all of us can be here in Saigon and be privileged and lucky and blessed with delicious sandwiches. So when you come here, you're already going to know by watching the end of the video where to get the best, top most delicious bang mi in Saigon. Back to Madam Huynh here. Ba Huynh. She's good, folks. Ba Huynh is good, but no. That's a relegation. We have two competitors down. Huynh Hua wins the award for heaviest sandwich, but she's out. The shoe box, lovely packaging. There's some good flavor there, but we're, we're gone. We're finishing up. For the Al Bundy used shoe line. We have two competitors left, folks. There's, it's a, this is a two horse race. Bang Mi, Hop Ha, and Bang Mi, BTX, or Ba Ti Swan. Our two biggest strengths here. This one is definitely prettier than this one. This one has the meat, and this one just has so much rich pate. It is top. Every one of the Bang Mi's we've tried today is a Bang Mi Dak Yet. So this means like the special or the everything. It's the classic sort of cold cut sandwiches with pate, mayonnaise, pickles, cucumber, everything you can want. Four cloths, especially on this one. I think we're gonna do one more bite, one more bite, and then we'll have to call it. By the way, if you're still watching, thank you so much. I'm Evan, this is Noodlehead. Make sure to subscribe, like, support the channel, appreciate you. Comment below, let me know what else you wanna see me eat. I'd be happy to do some other top five listicles for other dishes. Last two bites, folks. This is for all the marbles. Thanks so much, make sure to watch to the end. The flavor, the umami, is fantastic. This has been my favorite sandwich for a while. I meant it, I've eaten dozens and dozens of these whenever I'm down at the hospital, supporting my wife and kids. I'm doing it by eating bang mi, because how better should you support your family than by eating bang mi? Okay, this is it. One and for all, one bite left. All the marbles on the table. Will Boy T. Swan be knocked off? And do we have to crown Bang Mi Hoppa as the best Bang Mi in Saigon Ho Chi Minh City? Is it the most delicious? That's the criteria here. Is it the most delicious? Has the best bread. But what about the taste? At the end of the day, it's all about taste. so good. It's so rich. I am so glad to have this bong me in my life. It's really making my day, this discovery. I know it's a popular place. I know other YouTubers have been there. I know it's on the tourist circuit, getting to experience the joy of a bong me. Oh, ah. But it's not the best sandwich of the city. No chance. It's BTX. This one just knocks everyone off. It is the best sandwich right in the heart of District 1. Let's give him a big shout out. Bong Mi BTX. If you've watched my videos, you know I've been here before. What can I say? I'm a sucker.
Mm. One video, two video, subscribe. Thanks so much. Take care.